Hey, how's it going? So I'm just taking a quick break from my work to address a question uh, that somebody brought up to me the other day. Specifically, they wanted to know how I handle white balance in the camera. And I thought it was worth making at least a quick video uh, to go over what I do. Um, I don't use auto white balance and I don't really like to use the built-in presets to the camera either. So those presets are things like cloudy and daylight and etc. Uh, instead, I use the Kelvin settings for the camera. And I think that really works better because it allows me to get closer to the final look in the camera. So that later when I'm editing the photos, the preview that I see is closer to the way it looked in reality. That also shortens up my editing time. And to do things in Kelvin is actually really simple. Uh, unfortunately, it's something that a lot of people don't understand, and I think it's worth learning. So we're going to cover it here real quick. So a good place to start is what is the Kelvin scale? Well, the Kelvin scale is a measurement of the temperature of light. So from warm light to cool light. And warm light will be down around the 2000 to 3000 range. Uh, a good example of that might be an incandescent light bulb, which is very typically around 2700 to 3200 Kelvin, such as the one I have going behind me. You can see that the color is very warm. Uh, in the middle of the scale, typically 5,000 to 7,000 is daylight, very much like the light I have coming in this window. And then at the upper end of the scale is very blue cool light, uh, such as evening light just after sunset, where all the light is coming from the blue sky above. And in that case, the light color can be 8,000 to 10,000. A good shorthand way of thinking about it, at least when it comes to setting your camera, is when you dial in the Kelvin number, the further down you go, you're cooling things off. And the higher you go in number, uh, you're warming things up. It's actually the exact opposite of the actual measurement of the light itself. But stick with the shorthand. If I reduce the number, I'm cooling things off. If I increase the number, I'm warming things up. So why would you want to shoot in Kelvin? Well, the answer is actually really simple. You get a better representation in the camera of the way the photo should look. That way, when you later get it into Lightroom, you have a good sense of what you're going for and you're going to spend less time adjusting the temperature of the image in Lightroom. The more you can save yourself time, the better. And honestly, adjusting it in camera when you're working is a lot simpler than it would first appear to be. In fact, it's so simple, I'm going to just walk you through it real quick. So this is my Nikon D4, and with the D4 I'm lucky, it has buttons for everything. So for me to adjust the white balance is just real quick. Down here near the bottom I have a white balance button, and what I'm going to do is change this until the screen reads K. And on a Nikon or a Canon, the Kelvin setting is always represented by a K. So you want to set that first. And that means you're in Kelvin mode. And next to the K, you'll notice a number, somewhere between 2,000 and about 10,000. That's the second thing to adjust. Again, the number doesn't matter, and here's why. What we're gonna do is switch into Live View, and you should be able to see this on my camera screen. I'm pointing it at the light behind me, which again is a really warm light down around 3,000 but my camera is currently set for 10,000, so way up at the blue end. Well, I want to cool this off. So what I'm going to do is hold down white balance and then using the um, scroll dial right here, I can just lower that number using live preview and visually checking until I think it looks correct. So as you can see now, I've neutralized the color um, and I'm ready to go. That's it. That's how quick you adjust it. Now this is a, my particular Nikon. All cameras are a little bit different. On a Canon, using the scroll dial and menu system, what you'll do is you'll go into the menu, go over to the white balance menu, then change it to K for Kelvin. And then from that point forward, again, you can adjust the temperature using this scroll dial here. So that's how you quickly adjust the camera to the right Kelvin number. Um, and anytime you change your scenery, um, even in a minor way, going from open shade under a tree to out uh, under the open blue sky, you should recheck that Kelvin. 
And what this will really do is save you a ton of time in, when you're editing in Lightroom. Now, there's one downside worth knowing. That's the temperature number. The other part of the white balance equation is tint. You may know the tint slider from Lightroom. Temperature is blue versus yellow, warm versus cool. Well, tint is green versus magenta. And that's not something you can do with a Kelvin scale inside of the camera. Instead, I think every camera simply chooses neutral in between magenta and green. So you'll still have to adjust that in Lightroom and you'll still have to check your uh, temperature settings in Lightroom as well, but doing this in camera will certainly get you much, much closer. So let's take a second to review. Um, shoot in Kelvin for greater in-camera accuracy. It, that starts by setting the camera to Kelvin mode. You then turn on live preview and adjust the Kelvin number until what you see on screen appears to be what's correct to you. And then finally, once you do have everything in Lightroom, take a few minutes to check your white balance and adjust the tint as need be. So that's it for today. Like I said, a very short video. I hope this is uh, helpful to you. Give it a try the next time you're working in the field. Um, it's worth uh, checking out. Um, feel free to like, and if you choose subscribe, I'll have more coming uh, in the near future. And of course, you can find uh, my work online at hunterphotographic.com. Thank you very much and have a great week.